Hey guys, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel. So today is a great day. We are making cookies and I'm wearing camo, which as you guys know, camo is my favorite color. And I know people are going to comment, camo is not a color. I know it's a pattern. Same thing, basically. <laughs> so today we are making cookies, which you guys know is my favorite food. And we don't have to make any cookies. We're making cookies that technically only use four ingredients. I like to top them with some chocolate and chopped up peanuts. So kind of, it's like six ingredients, but let's just call them four ingredients because if you just want to make the base cookie, there's only four. Very easy to do. So let's just start mixing it. Right over here, I have some of this peanut butter, which is the main ingredient. We are making peanut butter cookies that are naturally gluten-free, so my mom can eat them, or if any of you are gluten-free, they're perfect for you. Uh, there's no need to use like any type of fake flour. Uh, I like to use chunky peanut butter. I think it gives it like a nice crunch, but you can also use smooth if that's what you have. So let's just add our peanut butter straight into our bowl. There we go. And now also I'm gonna add in some sugar. So we have about one cup of peanut butter and three fourths a cup of sugar straight into here. There we go. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract for some more flavor enhancing. And our fourth ingredient is a egg, or an egg would be correct English. <laughs> All right, so let's just make this up. And now this cookie is the type of cookie I make when I'm in the mood for some type of cookie, something sweet, but I don't want to like go through the hassle of softening butter and all of that. I just want something quick and easy that then my mom can also eat. Uh, Cause as I mentioned, my mom is gluten free. So it's kind of just like perfect for all of us. So let's just mix this all together. All right, so our cookie dough is now done being made. So I'm gonna form this into balls of about two tablespoons worth. And we're gonna put this onto our parchment paper lined baking sheet. Now these cookies don't really spread out that much when we bake them. Uh, they don't have any like leavening agent in them. So you can kind of put them around three in each row. You don't really need to give them that much space in between. And the last one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just take any old type of fork and press it down like that. Lift it up and then press it down on the other side to make this little design on top of the cookie. And you're gonna to wanna to repeat that with the rest of the cookies. All right, there we go. And now finally, I'm just gonna top them off with a little sprinkle each of some flaky sea salt. And I feel like this doesn't even really count as an ingredient. It's like everyone has some salt in their house. If you don't have flaky sea salt, you could just use a little bit of kosher salt or whatever you have, or you can just leave it out. I just like the extra little touch of saltiness. Now, I'm gonna go grab this, pop it into the oven at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes until they are nicely cooked. We're gonna then dip them in some chocolate, top them with some peanuts, and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, so our cookies came out of the oven and look at that, with just those simple ingredients, we have these absolutely delicious cookies right over here. Now, we're gonna make them even better by coating them in some chocolate and topping them with some peanuts. So right over here, I just have some melted chocolate and the way you wanna do this to make them look great is coat about half of the cookie, top half in the chocolate, there we go. Place it back on the cookie sheet. Take some of these peanuts that I just chopped up and sprinkle them on top. This makes them look better and taste better because I mean, who doesn't love some chocolate? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna coat the rest of them. I'm gonna do about half of them coated and half of them plain. All right, so I just coated four of our cookies. The rest I'm gonna leave plain and those have to harden up. So I'm just gonna go in for a plain cookie because they're actually delicious just plain. So let's just crack right into that. And look at that delicious cookie center. And it's so delicious. Okay, I, I cannot wait to dig it. Let's just go. Mm. Wow. It is seriously incredible what you're able to do with such few ingredients in such a short amount of time. Totally is the perfect thing for a busy weeknight. If you need some cookies last minute, you're having those cookie cravings that I get all the time. It is really great for that. Uh, and just absolutely delicious. I mean, you can totally skip the chocolate and peanuts part if you want. You don't need to top with that. I just think it makes it a little bit more fun and look better, but they're even delicious just like this. If you guys want the recipe, 
super simple. The link, as always, is in the description box below. If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button because, I mean, how good do these look? Like, how could you not click that like button? And comment down below, what is your personal favorite type of cookie? I want to hear, I'll respond to your comments uh, all day long while this video airs. And yeah, all right, this is super fun. I'm going to finish eating all these cookies. Hope you enjoyed watching. And if you need me, I'll be devouring all of these. All right, bye.